Ah, pera, deixa eu ver. Consider. This threat endangers us all. The Gilded Blades aren't mercenaries to call on to clean up your mess, Count Stefan. <laughs> Can't you see that I'm eating? It isn't often I get to feast on fresh food. Go talk to the Lordling. He wants to speak to you. My knights are ready, but Captain Sirivane isn't convinced she wants to join us in this particular fight. But never mind that. Is Druid Laurel all right? Is the Sacred Staff safe? Damn it all to oblivion. At least Laurel is all right. I've assembled what knights I can spare, but we could really use Siravain and the Gilded Blades. Maybe you can convince her to help. I'd appreciate it. I've been banging my head against that particular wall for hours now. Remind her that if Lord Bacaro takes control of the archipelago, any safe ports she has on Galen will evaporate like a drop of water in a hot skillet. I can never get enough of the food you landbound eat. It's so delicious. Uh. The Lordling sent you over to convince me to help, didn't he? My answer is the same. Why should I care about your political drama? And that concerns me how, exactly? If druids want a king or not, that's their business, not mine. Sea Lord Nalos was my problem, and I took care of it. What happens on Galen next doesn't matter to me. Just because our purposes aligned once doesn't mean we'll sail side by side forever, mercenary. We both wanted Narlo dead, and now he is. That was a win for both of us. I'd need a more compelling reason to risk my crew again. That is certainly <laughs> something I hadn't considered. Me, but the others. I do like the safe haven that the Lordling has provided us with. And what was that about allies? Bacaro is working with the fire song. Huh. All right, you convinced me. My ship is yours for now. Toistaiseksi. I knew you'd come around, Sirvain. Let's meet at the Vastir docks. Yeah. It's good to see you, dear. And is that Count Stefan? Glad House Mornard could join us, Your Excellency. Captain Zaji's ship is ready to sail. Next stop, if alarmed. Druid Laurel said something about uh, fighting an angry volcano spirit. <laughs> she was joking, yes? Please, Walker, tell Zaji that we will not be sailing the ponds too close to the volcano. This one would rather not see his beloved ship go up in flames. Ah, on muuten komea vi viikinkilaiva. Come, dear. We have plans to make. Laurel, Ravana and I talked during the voyage. If Lord Bacaro truly means to awaken the spirit of the volcano, he's going to need to do it from inside Mount Firesong. And since he knows we're coming, he'll throw everything he has in our way. Sleight of hand, my dear. Count Stefan and Captain Siravain landed farther up the beach. While our allies draw attention at the main entrance, you and I will follow in their wake and find another way into the mountain. Laura wasn't sure. But she thinks she remembers a cave to the right of the main entrance. Let's search around. If nothing else presents itself, we'll see where that cave leads. This time we're going to put an end to the Ascendant Order and that traitor Lord Bacaro. Ascendant Lord is just another name for dinner, yes? <laughs> okay. So we're done here. Uh, this is a nice beach, yes? Maybe Zaji should wait here, keep the path back to the pounds open. This one's fur is quite flammable, and there is much too much lava around for Zaji's taste. May Ifray guide your steps, my friend. And keep Lady Arabelle safe. She won't admit it, not even to herself. But the poison took a lot out of her. 
She should be back at the manor resting, not on her way to battle the Ascendant Lord. We'll do our best to hold the Ascendant Order's attention, while you and Lady Arabelle find another way into the mountain. Look for a cave to the right of the main entrance. I remember that from when Stefan and I visited as initiates many seasons ago. Niin nää kaks teki matka, pyhimallusmatkan tänne. Se vanhemman druidin oppilaina siis. Ja täällä on taas mennyt ihan tosi hyvin. Ascendant Order's forces pulled back to the main entrance into the mountain. Siravain and her pirates went after them. We arrived before your ship and took the lead. Lady Arabelle wanted us to clear a path and we've done what we can. We ran into a large contingent of Ascendant Knights. Siravain and the Gilded Blades chased them back to the main entrance. Pelissä ei ole tota, fotomoodia valitettavasti, mutta aina välillä täytyy kytkeä toi ää, UI pois päätä, että saa tuo kuva. Order barnacles are cowards. They flee at the first sign of a worthy opponent. Kotuli se hyvin käytetty näitä karttoja tässä näitä näkki hyökätään käytännössä kahdessa eri, eri otteessa eli pystytään niinku kahdessa eri lopputaistelussa hyödyntämään samaa samaa rantaa. This tunnel cuts deep into the mountain. Hopefully, it will lead us to Lord Vicaro. Fire song druids, proceed with caution, dear. The druid king calls forth the spirit of the volcano. Soon, our enemies will perish in lava and flame. Vicaro is stopped. We have to hurry. Just, just so well. That's Druid Laurel's nature spirit. We have to help him. Mustahaltia hahmo, niin nauttis tästä paikasta. Uh. 
Bakaro wields the Druid King's regalia with such force I could not resist his commands. He forced me to awaken the mountain spirit, but he is not the true Druid King. Not until the three circles become one and proclaim him as such. Niin, niin, kyllä, kyllä. Eli oli niin, että teki jotain voimaa niillä tunnuksilla. Ja... A Tässä oli jonkinlainen aikaraja. Yleensä näissä ei ole, mutta, mutta niin. Hyvä, että joissain tehtävissä on. Se voi tiedä, että tänne palaamaan ihan rauhassa. Ää, iso ongelma.
Okei, siinä se on se kuuma tyyppi. Sardeja pitää tuhota. Shard of Moon vaarasta. Noin. Tää on Dragon Knight, niin ei tää, täällä ei vihreästi depsiä. Vihreällä pääsee turvaan tuota laavaa.
sarja tulla. Miten se pitäisi olla? Kannattaisi olla Dunmer. Ahaa, mun kyllä. Mielenkiintoiset mekaniikat tässä. Ei olla vielä voitettu. Sardeja tulee. Noin. Kuluttaa ilmeisesti se poimaa. Isopel on pysynyt kohtuullisen hyvin elossa, mikä on tosi iloinen juttu. Ää, paitsi tämän, nyt kun mä sanoin niin, niin... King is gone, but so is the spirit of the mountain. Without a spirit to calm it, Mount Firesong's rage will continue unchecked. Perhaps, if the balance is restored, a new spirit must fill the void in Mount Firesong's heart. I will be that spirit. It means I will calm the volcano before it destroys the archipelago. Attempt to contain most of the damage to Ephelon. But I will need your help, friend of Laurel, friend of Free. Oh, yeah, yeah. Place the regalia to form a circle around me, then command me to bind myself to the mountain. You are not the Druid King, but with the regalia and my willingness, the binding should hold. Then I will do what I can to quiet the volcano. I will remain, but I will be different. As the seed becomes a tree, I shall become the spirit of the mountain, and I will slumber, as will Mount Firesong. Now take the crown and the gauntlet and place them around me. Quickly, friend, place the gauntlet and crown to form a ritual circle. Yeah. Really well now, he is the spirit of Mount Firesong. Now the volcano will be still. The volcano erupted, but except for the top of the mountain, Ephelon is intact. I very much want...
I got everyone back to the ship before the volcano fully erupted. But even so, I'm surprised we're all still alive. Care to enlighten us about what happened inside Mount Firesong, dear? Free was able to contain all that power. They saved the archipelago, the Alliance leaders, all of us. But where's Free now? Why didn't they return with you? You said they took the place of the spirit. What does that mean? Oh, poor Free. Their sacrifice saved us all. I'll remember them fondly for that. And you're sure Lord Bukaro is defeated? Without their leader, his ascendant order should fade away. But what happened to the Druid King's regalia, dear? It's just as well. As long as the Druids remain divided, they aren't ready for a new king. And I'm not sure how Emmerich and the others would react to another royal in their midst. Well, talk to our friends, dear. Then we should return to Neri, on huono luku, uh, Elder Scrosses. Oh, oh. Laurielo on tossa. I'm glad you were with Free inside the mountain, my friend. I'll never forget what they did to save us all. Free isn't gone, friend. They've just become something more. As a tree grows from seed to sapling to massive oak, so too has Free transformed. They're still with us, asleep in Mount Firesong, keeping us safe from the power of the volcano. Whenever you want to see Free, just look toward Mount Firesong. They're a part of it now, the spirit of the mountain. I need to tell the druids what happened here. Let them learn the last lesson the sower had to teach us. Sacrifice. Hmm. I'm sorry we couldn't figure another way to get out of this. Free shouldn't have had to sacrifice themselves to save the rest of us. I'm just glad you stopped Bakaro. Now maybe we can finally start to rebuild Galen. All this death and destruction because Bakaro wanted to dig up some ancient Breton legacy. If I learned anything from my time with the Druids, it's that they don't need a king or a prophecy to make the world a better place. They just need to do it. Don't be silly, of course I do. But that legacy isn't crowns and gauntlets. It's people, born of humans and elves to become something altogether new. It's magic, druids, and knightly orders. That's the Breton legacy I believe in. It's the best of us. Sachi could get used to this hero business. If only it paid better. Oh well. When you're done talking to everybody, let Zaji know and we'll sail back to Vastir. I wish I could have been there with you when you took down the Karo. I really wanted to rip into him and see what a traitor takes. Like. Maybe next time. Yes. Oh, what a season this has been, my friend. The Ascendant Order, rogue druids, a false druid king, and an ancient nature spirit. All because of a prophecy most of my people barely remember. <laughs> I'm just glad you were here to help set things right. Let's hope that with Bakaro dead, what remains of the Ascendant Order and the last of the Firesong rebels will no longer be a threat. Now, go talk with our companions, my dear. That's a whale of a story, mercenary. But I think I prefer having you with me than against me. So, at least for now, you have the respect of the Gilded Blades and their captain. The Gilded Blades handled themselves well, as always. And when Lady Arabelle sounded the warning, we headed to the nearest ship and set sail. For me, that happened to be this one. And your spirit friend decided to stay behind? Is that true? That's intense. Can't say I'd have done the same, but I can respect someone willing to give up their life to save others. It isn't particularly the Sea Elf way, but still. I think I'll drink to free whenever I sail past the mountain. Varmasti juo niinkun muissakin tilanteissa. Perfect bone se on tässä näin. Over here, my dear. Count Stefan and I have something for you. You're really making a habit out of saving the archipelago, and of aiding me. 
Thanks to you, we revealed Lord Bakaro as a traitor, saved the islands from an erupting volcano, and ended the threat of the false druid king. Well done, my dear. Don't worry about them. Without a leader, they'll quickly fade away. Now we just need to proceed with the peace talks. We're back on track and the archipelago is safe thanks to you. Now take this. Count Stefan and I wanted you to have it. We did well, dear, but the work isn't finished yet. I could use a hand if you're still so inclined. While I return to High Isle and make final preparations for the peace talks to commence, I'd like you to help Druid Laurel with one more thing. When you're finished, meet me at Mandrake Manor. Yellow yksi. <laughs> Druid Kingless Lair. Achievement. I'll let her give you the details. I will say this though. You've certainly made an impression on the Stone Lord Druids, dear. Druid Laurel will tell you what she needs. Just don't dawdle. Finish things here, then meet me on High Isle. We've had the Alliance leaders waiting quite long enough, and I have to make some arrangements with the Society of the Steadfast. Despite Lord Bakaro's betrayal, the Society has done good work here in the Sisters and back in Tamriel. I'd hate to lose that, but you're quite correct. I need to determine if the society is trustworthy. Niin, ne yksi parantaja yritti parantaa li levittämällä vampirismia. I'll start by meeting with Captain Marguerite. The society attracted many good people who have done a lot of good work. I won't see that die with Bakaro. I want the organization to continue if at all possible. Galen and the entire archipelago owe you a debt, my friend. You have my thanks. The Druids will never forget what you and Free did to save us. Lady Arabelle said she could spare you, and I appreciate the help. Before Free was taken by Lord Bakaro, they gave me something. Told me what to do with it if they didn't return. I thought Free was just being cautious. But I think they knew. That they weren't coming back. Free gave me a pouch of soil. They said it was special. That they prepared it as part of their purpose. You remember how Free would go on and on about that. Anyway, they asked me to do something after they were gone. They asked me to go to the Overlook north of Glimmertarn, to sprinkle the soil from the pouch there. I made a promise, and I'd like you to fulfill it with me. I think Free would want you to be a part of this. Will you help me, friend? Goodbye. <laughs> okay, tapa -ta. Here, take the pouch of soil. There's a beautiful tree by the Overlook, tall and majestic. I think that's the perfect place to honor Free's wishes. I'll meet you there. Free said they spent a long time preparing it, that it was a part of them, a part of Galen, a part of the Druids. I don't know if they meant that literally or figuratively. It wasn't always easy to understand Free and the ways of a nature spirit. Free enjoyed sitting under it. I think they felt a connection to it. But I'm not really sure. The ways of nature spirits are very different from the things we know. They said to sprinkle the soil, and I think that's the perfect place to do it. What amazing things you accomplished, friend. You saved the leaders of the alliances, stopped the Ascendant Order, defeated the Fire Song, killed Lord Bakaro, and calmed the volcano. What will you do next, I wonder? You did so much for the islands, for the druids. I'll never forget how you saved us all. Thank you, my friend. All right, get ready. I don't do this very often, so pay attention. <laughs> you did good, Five Qua. I am proud to have fought by your side, and I'm even prouder to call you my friend. That's it, enough. If I get any more sentimental, I may start crying. Zaji uh. is proud to have played a part in defeating the Ascendant Lord and saving the sisters. Oh, not as large a part as you, Five Claw, but Zaji had a significant role just the same. Haha, the other That's the tree. Free was quite fond of it. Go ahead and sprinkle the soil around its base. I 
thought for sure something would happen, but this is wonderful. <laughs> Friend, let me tell you what Pri has done. Did you see what happened, friend? What Free asked us to do with that pouch of soil? It's a miracle. Of course. After everything you've done for us, I still forget sometimes that you're not a druid. Free had a special connection to the sacred seeds. They used their power as a nature spirit, as the sower, to put some of that magic into the soil. It means that the sacred seeds aren't gone. The ah, okay. They will return. Someday. Until that time, we'll need to protect this tree. Nurture it. I'll make sure that all the circles know. We'll find a way to do it okay. together. Okay. Trust has to start somewhere. But we still need to gather the elders and form a new Dreyfa. After that, I'll broach the subject. In the meantime, I'll commune with the tree. With the growing seeds. And I'll be here when they finally blossom. I think that's everything, my friend. Thanks again for helping me honor Free's request. I hope they find peace and happiness inside the volcano. Anyway, I think you should head back to High Isle now. I know Lady Arabelle is eager to begin the talks. Free made their decision. Without their sacrifice, none of us would have survived the volcano's eruption. I'll find time to go to Mount Firesong, to commune with the new spirit of the volcano. Sometimes, bound spirits respond. Sometimes they don't. Oh, Free will commune with me if they're able. But every spirit binding is different. Some can communicate freely. Others can only share impressions. And then there are the ones that more or less slumber, as Free did before they were awakened. Tosin Vyrdit oli ilmeisesti sen kanssa kommunikoin, että se, se sanottiin aikaisemmin. Ja sitten oli meille, että ei me mistään luonnonhengestä tiedetä. Et niin kun, toi saattaa todennäköisesti ihan onnistuakin. Ja toi druidikuningas on mielenkiintoinen ajatus. Siis se sekoittaisi oikeasti pakkaa ihan kiitettävästi Britonnian alueella. Mutta se on ehkä semmoinen, että sitä voisi se enem enemmänkin ehkä... Olisi myöhempien pelien juttu, että... Tyberseptimin aikana Tyberseptim on kaikista kovin, kovin tyyppi. Kuitenkin. I assure you, Lady Arabelle. I'm more committed than ever to the Society of the Steadfast's mission of peace. I'm glad to hear you say that, Captain. Ah, good, you're back. Captain Marguerite and I were just having the most illuminating discussion, dear. Other than some misdirection at the end, Lord Bacaro never allowed his clandestine activities with the Ascendant Order to spill over into the Society of the Steadfast. Ehka. Yes, dear, I am. Captain Mogheri's reputation is impeccable, and I've begun to study their ledgers. Nothing is amiss. I'll get someone I trust to perform a thorough investigation, but the Society has done too much good to shut it down now. Just about. Preparations are underway at Old Flag's Islet, but I have a task for you. I'd like you to invite Count Stefan, Druid Laura, and Druid Ravana for the talks. They deserve to have a voice in the proceedings. Captain Zaji and Kaska too. Kaska can at least argue. Should get to see the negotiations unfold, but to have them participate, oh goodness, no. So invite Stefan, Laurel, and the rest, and remind Stefan I'm depending on House Mornard for added security. Niiltä tapetti just suurin osa kiritareista. We've been trying to get the leaders of all three alliances to the table since this whole affair began. It's been sponsored by the Society of the Mutta Steadfast. Ne on there are no osapuoli. guarantees, but this is our best chance to end the Three Banners War. I won't keep that a secret from High King Emmerich and the others, but I will urge them to see the talks through, despite their less than honorable beginnings. This is a real chance for lasting peace, and I damn well plan to make that happen. Count Stefan will be at Castle Mornard, and Druid Laurel should be in the Vines District in Bastyr. Zaji's likely at the docks here in Gonfalon Bay, and Druid Ravana is at her workshop here on High Isle, just west of the city. Yeah, that's you. You walk to that. Make sure the pounce is ready to sail the moment Queen Irene calls for us. The pounce is ready. I could use some quiet time for a change. Eh, uh, always a pleasure, Five Claw. But you also tend to bring trouble to Zaji, and more work. 
Uh, so what is it this time? A periite cult? Vampire armies from deep underground? What? Periite kultti oli jo, oli jo tuolla noin niin kuin Elseveerissä. Vampyriarmeija maan alla oli taas Nordien alueella. Saji and Kaska are invited? Well, as expected, of course. After all Saji has done, it is only natural to want him there to observe and to keep the queen and the others safe. But Kaska too, really? Well, very well. If Lady Arabelle insists. Yeah. Zaji and Kaska will leave for the islet at once and will bring along a few of the Pounce's crew. A little extra muscle never hurts, yes? There is always a chance, Five Claw. It may be very, very small. So small that you cannot see it with the naked eye, but it is there nonetheless. This one does hope it works out, though. War is a terrible business indeed. What a pleasant surprise. What brings you back here so soon, friend? Not another danger to the archipelago, I hope. I'm neither an elder nor an arch druid. Shouldn't Lady Arabelle invite one of them? Hmm. Most of the surviving senior members of the Circle are deep in discussions about the Dreyfa. Very well. Tell her I'll attend the talks. I'm pleased that Lady Arabelle thought to include the druids of the archipelago in the peace talks. As you have seen, events on the mainland reach even to our distant shores. Still, I wish we had arch druids or elders available for the task. Perhaps one day, but I'm much too young to be called an elder, don't you agree? As for arch druid, one doesn't just receive that accolade. Only druids of immense presence and power ever achieve such a rank. Will I someday? We shall see. Was all this bloodshed really the result of a druidic prophecy, Galfin? I'm afraid so, Feda. Sometimes religious conviction can drive even the best of us to do terrible things. Well, at least the Ascendant Lord has been defeated. And we found each other, Galfin. Yeah, <laughs> the sunlight <laughs> through the clouds. No need, but Arvati. Captain Marguerite was as good as her word. Get those supplies distributed at once. Right away, Count Stefan. Friend, welcome back to Castle Mornard. Lady Arabelle told me to trust Captain Marguerite, and so far, so good. The Society of the Steadfast restarted their relief efforts, and things have been moving smoothly ever since. But what brings you back to Galen, friend? Does she know? And what role would a minor count play in discussions concerning the greater fate of all of Tamriel? No, forgive me, friend. It's just been a lot lately. Of, of course I'll attend. Is there anything Lady Arabelle needs of me? Ah, yes. After all this trouble, such a request isn't all that surprising. Very well. Tell Lady Arabelle Count Stefan shall attend the peace talks with a contingent of his finest knights at his side. Will that do? How my father ever accomplished anything with the constant parade of supplicants and requests, I'll never understand. Or Archdruid Reval, for that matter. Now I know what it's like when everyone is constantly vying for a moment of your attention. No, it's not all that bad. Stressful, yes, but rewarding in its own way. You know, I really do like making decisions that help people. And I've even gotten the nobles and druids to sit down together. Once. Maybe my plans will work out after all. Blight it all. We have to find a way for the circles to work together. The Elder Tide are willing, but we have yet to choose new leaders. And we still distrust the Fire Song. The Fire Song are aware of our mistakes. We don't expect forgiveness, but. We want a chance to make amends. I promise our next leader will have less aggressive aspirations. Tätty mätä. Hirveä harvat pahikset tässä pelisarjassa antaa, joten niinku ehkä ehkä tuota voidaan uskoa. 
Blight and damnation. Trying to get the druid circles to agree on anything is like trying to herd fawns. But you're not here to deal with my problems. What can I do for you, my friend? Really? After you just saw my negotiating skills in action? Wait, you're serious? Well, why not? I definitely want what's best for my people. And maybe I can learn something watching the Alliance leaders. I'll be happy to attend. And just between us, the talks with the Druid Circles aren't going too badly. I just lose patience sometimes. I want everything to happen right now. But flowers blossom when they're ready, am I right? <laughs> what? Did Stefan say something? Mm. What are you asking? Count Stefan and I are getting along fine. Never better. And I'd rather not talk about this if uh -huh. that's all the same to you. I'm not sure why the Lordling invited me to this, and I'm not sure why I decided to come. I suppose it's interesting to see how the various alliances negotiate. It appears to be a lot less bloody than the functions I've attended in Piandonia. You know, this is my first visit to this islet. It was closed off and abandoned for so long. I'm glad to see the efforts they've done to renovate it and make it presentable. Don't mind me, I ramble when I get nervous. Hello, mate. I understand that what's about to happen here is in no small part because of you. Don't mind me, I'm just an observer. The Mage's Guild rightly sent Valesia to represent our interests here. Muita mielenkiintoisia. Tämä on kyllä hyvä paikka neuvotteluille. Historiansa kannalta. Over here, dear. Time to get this conference started. I feel a little out of my depth here. So much trouble came from the medallions I prepared. And then the magical wards I helped raise at Memorial Hall failed to stop the Magus. Now I'm supposed to turn my efforts to diplomacy? Save women are one of me. Now I'm going to see you when I'm done. Just Lady Arabelle. Well. It's rude to ignore a lady when she clearly wants to talk to you. <laughs> uh, I, I see pissed. everyone has arrived. Well done, dear. And I did my part as well. The Alliance leaders are already downstairs. Oh, just the usual hemming and hawing. I just applied my natural charisma and threatened them with bodily harm. The leaders do want a word with you, though, if you're willing to indulge them. I'm pleased that Lady Arabelle thought to include the druids of the archipelago in the peace talks. As you have seen, events on the mainland reach even to our distant shores. Still, I wish we had archdruids or elders available for the task. I heard what Lady Arabelle told you. Well... You can't keep the leaders of the three alliances waiting. That's a capital offense, I believe. Go on downstairs and present yourself. We can catch up later. Okay. Olen töissä. Olen ainoastaan töissä täällä. Kyllä, kyllä. Lord Bakaro, a villain. Rogue knights collaborating with druids. And what was that about sea elves? This visit to the archipelago has been one surprise after another. I owe you a lot, friend. You saved my life, and you saved my realm. I've ignored the druids of the archipelago for too long. 
The few I've met over the years seem, well, quaint, eccentric. I thought their insistence on clinging to the ancient ways was harmless. But I forgot about the dark roots of their tradition. The weirds of High Rock distanced themselves from politics, but the druids of old were a different breed. They used fearsome magic to rule over the early Bretons, either directly or from behind the scenes, and they jealously guarded their power. Why in oblivion not? I've been here this long, what's another few days? If the Breton legacy has a dark side, it also shows courage and commitment. If Iren and Ernskar are willing to talk, so am I. But I wonder if Lord Bacaro had the right idea. Oh, not about the whole Ascendant Lord and murder thing. But about finding someone other than one of us to sit on the throne. I can't imagine Iren or Yoren agreeing to bow down to me willingly, and I feel the same way. We'll just have to see. Tämä Perceptim syntyy vasta sadan vuoden kuluttua. Eikö kolmen sadan vuoden kuluttua? Fills my heart with pride to know the High King knows something of our deeds. Yep, yep. <laughs> There you are. <laughs> And the hero of the day again. I knew we weren't done with the Ascendant Order after the assault on Orflag's islet. But I never imagined it was Lord Beccaro who betrayed us. That's what my father would expect. But I don't feel that I'm quite done here yet. Nothing in my instructions covers what's happened so far. And Lord Beccaro's treachery calls into question the very sanctity of these peace talks. I wouldn't say that. I came here to do a job and I think it can Hello, still be done. So I the plan home. to send word to the Skull King. Tell him I'm staying. At least as long as Emmerich and Irene agree. Lord Beccaro may have deceived us, but peace is still possible. He won't be happy about the way Lord Beccaro manipulated him. But when I explain what happened here, and what you did, friend, he'll support my decision. He really is an excellent king, my father. But don't tell him I said that. I like to think I'm not easily fooled, but not in a thousand years would I have guessed that Lord Bacaro was the secret leader of the Ascendant Order. No one argued more eloquently for a lasting peace than he did. <laughs> the revelation that these talks were merely part of the Ascendant Lord's plan to seize power makes it difficult. But as far as we can tell, the Society of the Steadfast Intentions are pure. And I think... Lord Bacaro might have outsmarted himself. Bacaro wanted to prove his worth, show us that by blood and circumstance, he was the best suited to take power. Instead, through his actions as the Ascendant Lord, Emmerich, Ernskar, and I learned that we could actually work together. I think so, yes. I've come to believe that Emmerich and Ernskar want peace as badly as I do, and I'm willing to see where these discussions lead. We may not come to any conclusions, But isn't the possibility worth the effort? I think it is. The stories I've heard Your about Queen please. Irene are Lady incredible. Arabelle requests that everyone join her in the reception hall. True. Resume there. Then I'll get quite keep. Friend, may we speak? Finally, we get a moment to ourselves. I did want to speak with you before Lady Arabelle gets on with the import. I wanted... Damn, this went better in my head. I've never been as good at speaking my mind as my father was, or Archdruid Raval. Now, he was an orator. Sorry, I'm babbling. Let me start over. Thank you for everything, my friend. Now, don't start with that sort of nonsense. Of course I need to thank you. You saved us all. What kind of count would I be? What sort of friend? If I didn't let you know how much what you've done for us means to me. All right, I've taken up enough of your time. I know how eager Lady Arabelle is to get the peace talks underway. We'll talk later. Now go speak to Lady Arabelle and let her know everything is ready for her to begin. 
Ja tällä pitkä, pitkittyllä lopulla yritetään validoida sitä pelaajan tähän peliin pistämään aikaa ja tarinaan pistämään. Et, et niin kun Red Dead Redemption 2 on myös hyvä esimerkki pitkitetystä lopusta sillä lailla, koska ja Mass Effect 3 on taas sillä lailla, alkuperäinen loppu on taas vähän turhan, turhan nopeasti, niin kun, että ei ole pelaajalla ole aikaa prosessoida sitä, että, että nyt se sitten loppuu. Minun tuntikausia Have I mentioned how much I detest public speaking? Goes against all my training as a spy and agent of the king. I'm supposed to hear all the important bits of dialogue, not recite them. Ah well, before all that, I want to share something with you. Yes, I do. As we conclude this business with Lord Bakaro and the Ascended Order, I want you to know how much your help has meant to me. Hmm. Take this as payments for services above and beyond the call of duty. Now, I have a speech to deliver, my dear. We stand here today because of Lord Bacall. What he brought together through the Society of the Steadfast, and what he tried to bring about as the Ascendant Lord. Instead of dividing us, instead of defeating and conquering us, he showed us what's possible when we work side by side. And through the courage and sacrifice of many of the people gathered here, as well as the nature spirit free, we persevered and won the day. Now to our royal guests, I say, let's recognize our friend and then start the talks. Our friend has performed above the call of duty. I name them Champion of the Covenant. Not so fast, Emmerich. I name them Champion of the Dominion. Then I name them Champion of the Pact. Your Majesties, please. <laughs> it's All of that would never fit Champion of order. everything. Yeah. Let's just agree on Champion of the Alliances, shall we? Oh, very well. I can live with that. If you insist. Äärimmäisen huono tällä hahmolla ollut toi hevosen, ää, hevosen tota noin niin kuin, ää, nopeus, ratsastusnopeus. This is the part of the story I hate the most. This is the part of the story I hate the most. When we must inevitably say goodbye. As mm. much as I try to avoid it, I have a terrible habit of growing quite attached to the people I work with. All that said, I will miss you most emphatically, my dear. My contract with the Society of the Steadfast doesn't end until the peace talks conclude. And who knows how long the Alliance leaders will yell at each other now that they've finally started. After that, some travel, some writing, some time to relax. These accusations that I'm some clandestine writer of tawdry thrillers are beginning to rankle, dear. I understand that the next Vale novel will feature an unlikely location, a new romantic interest, and a villain of epic proportions. Or, so I heard. I rarely have to look, dear. They seek me out. I would like a little time to recover from this ordeal, though. My old bones don't spring back like they once did. And I really want to find someone to, let's say, share a bottle or two with, yes? Truthfully, I'm not sure. I hope Emmerich and the others can work something out. There's been more than enough blood spilled over the ruby throne for my taste. Alas, things like this aren't up to me. I do think there's a chance, though, thanks to you. Yeah. What an inspiration you are. So productive and efficient. Watching your promotion from lowly guard to a mineral <laughs> surveyor to savior of the isles gives me hope. It also makes me a bit jealous. I worked so hard. I hope my efforts pay off financially. Naturally, one must always stay working. Maximizing effort means increased income and respect. I should offer my services to all the assembled dignitaries. That's how I get my name out there. Safely and productively, thanks to you. 
Eponi on Lorkanin verta. Eli tää on pakko olla joku niin kuin, joku kohtuullisen tärkeä paikka. Tosin sinne on henkiä, henkiä sidottu ja muut, muuta tähän tulivuoreen. Toi vaan niin kuin sitä, sitä niin kuin todistaa enemmänkin. I should have known you had a hand in all of this, outsider. You seem to have a knack for making hopeless situations turn out for the better. We left the path in the care of the animals who roam it. I have no doubt that they'll be able to deter outsiders from wandering too far into our sacred site. Other druids will join us there soon, and we will rebuild our halls of memory. What choice do we have? Our stories and history are important, perhaps now more than ever. If my understanding of recent events is true, then you know the dangers of burying or misinterpreting the past. History should be learned from, not repeated. That druid Laurel of the Stonelore Circle, she's trying to get us all to work together. I suppose these peace talks are giving us all ideas, as well as can be expected. Pitoff and I are figuring out what it means to be chroniclers. I mean, without the help of a nature spirit. And we talked with Druid Laurel. I think we're going to allow Druids from the other circles to come help us. You'd think the Knight Commander would have a nicer office. Well, if I must work here while my own wing of the castle undergoes repairs, I may just have to do some redecorating. Hey, good looking. Did you miss me? I did go back to the mainland, but a new opportunity went sideways and it seemed prudent to disappear again. You know how it is. And I never miss a party. That's one of the three inalienable rules I live by. The other two fluctuate. Depending. I might. I would like to see how the peace talks turn out. And Lady Arabelle implied she might have more work for me. Something more substantial than ferrying messages. I think she plans to ask me to be her partner. <laughs> What? It could happen. The Society of the Steadfast will continue to provide help wherever it is needed. Whether war or disaster, we will be there to heal, to feed, and to shelter. I give you my word. Lord Bakaro's treachery was his alone. The Society's mission remains. Oh, go. Well, that's done. What's next for us, I wonder? I do like it here on Galen, and I enjoy spending time with Laurel and Stefan. But I'm an adventurer at heart. The sea calls to me. Perhaps we'll cross paths again, mate. Stranger things have happened. Ehkä. So much death and destruction because a man spoke a few words in the ancient past. I think I may have learned as much as I care to about the Druid King. Now I need to look to the future. We all do. And we can, thanks to you. Well, not completely. There are still mysteries to solve, secrets to learn. But I also need to concern myself with the present, the future. What's next for the Stone Lore and the Druid Circles? How do we move forward from here? I do love a challenge. Stefan suffered some great losses. We all did. But he's strong. He'll make a good leader for Galen. And the druids are already responding to his overtures. Oh, you mean... That's rather personal. Even for us. But Stefan and I... We'll see. <laughs> the remaining elders and archdruids are talking. They'll call Adrefa soon. Then we'll see. We have to make sure the fire song return to the true path, and we have to learn to trust them, to trust each other. Again, if Ray will guide us, Free isn't gone. They just found a new purpose, and by their actions, they calmed the volcano and saved us all. I'll go to Ifalon, try to commune with Free. Sometimes bound spirits respond, sometimes not, but they'll know I remember. But I care. 
You and Count Stefan have given the Elder Tide much to consider. We always guarded these islands against outsiders. Pirates, yes, but also nobles, settlers, and townsfolk. Now I see we may find friends where once we saw enemies. Some of us knew it, but we had gone too far. All we could do was fight on and hope that Orlais' victory would be worth the price. I regret the things we did and promise to make up for it. Prophecy and faith are powerful things, outsider. And Orlaith told very convincing stories with her words. By the time I saw the truth of where she was leading us, there was no way to oppose her. Orlaith was just too powerful. It's true that a small number of Firesong cling to Orlaith's lies. But the rest of us, we want to make amends. Work with the other circles and see what comes of Count Stefan's overtures. We'd like to be part of the future of the archipelago. Look around, friend. All these people are here because of you. I don't know what we would have done without you. Now the discussions to resolve seasons of conflict begin. This is an important moment, friend. And you made it happen. Even if the peace talks fail, good things will come of this. They must. And know that you always have a place with the Stone Lore. All these lords and ladies? Uh, usually I stay out of sight around these types. Not sure how to act while mingling with them. It's worth it to celebrate you, partner. You always seem to show up just when you're needed. We met our contact after leaving Lonshara. I thought Umindior would take credit, but he didn't care. All he could think about was that Neary woman. The pay was good, but the experience was more important. I really think this is the life for me. Money and adventure aren't the only reason I got into this life. I have something important I need to do. Someone I need to find. I don't really want to get into it now. But if you ever land in a bar's landing, maybe we can work together again. I suppose I should offer my congratulations. Not only did you help Quen and me, but I understand you calmed the volcano. Nicely done. Maybe next you could do something about mud crabs. I really despise the shells and those weird eye stalks. Uh huh. Well, look at you, the hero of the archipelago. Mind if I tell some of the nobles that I know you? Maybe they know someone who could help me change Octon back to how he's supposed to be. Not yet, but I think we're getting closer. Druid Fennis isn't giving up, and neither am I. He's been talking to druids from all the circles. Sooner or later, someone will think of something. In the meantime, I'm saving a lot of gold on candles. <laughs> I'm not sure why the Lordling invited me to this, and I'm not sure why I decided to come. I suppose it's interesting to see how the various alliances negotiate. It appears to be a lot less bloody than the functions I've attended in Piandronia. Who knows? Perhaps Raz will meet a nice druid boy while he is here. This one likes plants as much as the next Khajiit. <laughs> Galen really is quite beautiful, yes? Of course, of course. You would think Raz was going to curl up and fall asleep right here at your feet. Huh. Actually, that is not a bad idea. Raz believes we have an operation coming up somewhere in Black Marsh. It's been some time since this one got to make friends with an Argonian. Scales and fur make such a lovely compliment, don't you think? Not great, kitten, not great. Raz wishes he could say he was even surprised, but he's not. This war. Raz knows in his heart the Dominion is on the right side of things, but it has gone on so long. And so things like this... Kuka kauan se on mennyt tässä vaiheessa? 
siitä on niin täysin, täysin niin ristiriitaista tietoa. Of course. Raz hopes so, Five Claw. Most folk believe the treasure was just a story anyway. And if anyone follows hints from last year to the caves, well, they'll have to dig out a mountainside for even a handful of coins. Tietysti se oli tuossa tarinassa niin kaksi vuotta käytös tässä sotaa ennen, ennen niin kuin, tota, per, peruspelin niin kuin, tätä kampanjaa. Yes. I wonder if they'd really do it. I've grown to respect all three leaders in the time we've been assisting them. But I know these are not the people to save you. Anyway, whoever needs us, Five Claw, just send word to the Perfect Pounds. Zaji worries about the leaders. Do you know Zaji once saw Queen Irene decapitate someone with a spoon? A spoon! Ah, well, out of Zaji's paws. But if you ever need us, Five Claw, Kaska will come running. I is Archie too, but definitely Kaska. Kyllä, kyllä. Joo. I assume you're off on another adventure after this. Take me with you. I'm not sure I'm ready to deal with the responsibilities that come with my new title. No. Both my father and Archduke have all taught me better than that. It is tempting, though, to pick a direction and just go. But there are challenges to take on right here in the archipelago. I think I'm actually looking forward to them. After all that has happened, I suppose I can confide in you. I'm going to ask Druid Lord Daddy. to stay in Vastir. Help me as a liaison between the city and the Druid circles. And if we also find time to renew a friendship of old, well, we shall see. I think I have more than enough on my plate with Galen and building better relations with the Druids. But I don't believe in the feud that has plagued the noble houses of the sisters for years. If High Isle needs help, House Mornard will provide it. Dual heritages. Do you refer to Bretons being half-elf, or are you talking about my noble versus Druid upbringing? Well, either way, there's nothing to reconcile. All of that is a part of me. Makes me who I am. If anything, I want to make use of it all. Hmm. Joo. Tosiaan... Loppuajatuksia tästä näin, niin... Taas lukitaan. Deilejä oli ja... Joo, deilejä. Mutta niinku mä... Näille aatelisille. Well done, my friend. Well done. The Daggerfall Covenant will not forget your actions here in the archipelago, and on a more personal note, neither will I. Now, we can get on with these blasted talks, finally, thanks to you. Let me add my thanks to all these accolades, my friend. Your courage and resolve stopped a true villain from gaining terrible power, and you saved many lives. You have the gratitude of the Old Mary Dominion. And of its queen. Congratulations, friend. You earned every honor the society and the other alliances want to bestow on you, as well as the gratitude of the Ebon Heart Pact. I'll get the Skull King to issue a separate proclamation. <laughs> You'll be sorry he missed all this. No, se oli uusi vaimo. Jos me ei edelleenkään tiedetä yhtään mitään, se saattaa olla jonkun vaine. Tiedä. Tässähän ei povata oikeastaan seuraavaa lisäosaa oikeastaan mitenkään. Et me katsotaan sitten, että mitä ensi vuonna tulee. Alright. Eli, eli siinä tässä vaiheessa niin voidaan, voin sanoa muutaman sanan tästä, tästä näin lisäosasta. Eli tosiaan niin kuin melkein unohdin, että tää tulee, mutta tuli sitten pelattua, ja kyllähän tää loppujen lopuksi, mä pitkään olin sillä, että miten ne sitoo tän tän näin, tän Firesongin taas siihen, siihen niinku Hajaslain, joka jäi selkeästi kesken se tarina. Ja kyllähän ne lopussa sitoo, siis tässä oli kaksi kolmas, yksi kolmassa lop, loppua oli sitten niinku nimenomaan tätä 
äsken Dead Orderia ja paluuta taas hajaisen puolelle juoksentelemaan ympäriinsä. Että oli siis kyllä se sidottiin loppujen lopuksi. Ja toimi ihan hyvin, paitsi että toi Firesongin siellä tulivuoressa, niin siinä oli useampi kohta, mikä oli puki pukisia. Se ei jotenkin niin skriptaus toiminut, mikä oli vähän ikävä. Mutta toisaalta ei siinäkin vaan resetoin yhden instanssin odottelemalla vartin verran kirjailu takaisin peliin, niin se toimi. Että niin kuin tällaista näin. Tämä on ensimmäinen varsinainen koronan jälkeinen lisäosa, mitä ne on tehnyt. Vähemmän pukeja kuitenkin. Et siinä mielessä ihan, ihan, kiva, ihan kiva juttu. Ja, ja tosiaan niin nautin tarinasta ja tosiaan oli, oli kivempi kuin mitä ole, oletin. Mä oon huomannut, että suur, äh, nämä ESO-videot saa kohtuullisen paljon ainakin jotkut katseltavaa, jos ne on uusimmasta lisäosasta ja varmaan jatkossa täytyy näitä myöskin niin kuin, sitten seurailla ja tehdä videoita. Ää, kielestä en tiedä, englanti saattaisi olla ehkä parempi kieli, joten katsotaan siir- siirrynkö siihen sitten tulevaisuudessa. Mutta päätän tältä kertaa tähän näin, tämmöinen oli Elder Scrolls Onlinein Firesong lisäosa tarina kokonaisuudessa. Kiitos katsomisesta. Ja muistakaa, jos katsotte YouTubesta, muistakaa tykätä. Se on äärimmäisen tärkeää.